Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today. And I wanted to talk about the full moon energy update. And um, just a few things that have come up in healings and readings for people. And also my personal experience. I feel that there's been a ton of base chakra activity going on. And this is linked to your sense of security, of safety, of stability. And I myself have had um, back pain this week. So uh, a lot of the week has been spent trying to heal not just my physical, but also my energy body. And yeah, doing a ton of <laughs> healings for clients who've experienced similar things. Um, a lot of the energy that's being released currently is relating to childhood issues, past life karma, um, things that are very much related to the base chakra. And um, a lot of it is about releasing old patterns in families and patterns in ancestral um, circles you know we, we may not always know what our ancestors have had issues with but unless someone actively breaks these patterns and addresses them then they tend to carry on and even my sister has noticed this she's spoken with me about this she said oh my goodness a lot of the issues that we are dealing with right now and having to heal and break free from have been given and carried on from family and she's even noticed that it translates into the types of partners that you choose and the types of romantic experiences that you have and friendships and family dynamics and all things like that and of course it feels uncomfortable and it's not something that you would like to grow and continue on in your life so you have to be the one that breaks that cycle and I have seen a lot of um, clients refer to this needing to break these patterns in their readings and also asked for healings specifically to break free from that and it's very um, uncomfortable and painful to have to break out of those patterns because in order to break free from it, you firstly have to realize what it is that you're breaking free from. And that in itself is a very painful process. It's a very difficult thing to accept and recognize and then ultimately release with releasing comes a lot of emotional release too so you do end up feeling very sad and upset you know for a good while maybe a day or two depending on your situation your healing process but I found that writing down or talking about it really helps to release and I've noticed with me that patterns have been broken because I used to dream about a certain situation happening and whenever I did it would give me severe anxiety it would make me feel like I was right back in that situation and trying frantically to find a way to escape and um, recently when I dreamt about it I was not bothered and I thought oh this is strange because I was really just there but feeling safe in my own ability to not feel triggered and not feel like I needed to escape I was just there <laughs> it was very odd but this in a way has shown me that I have finally broken free from that situation 
And the phrase comes to mind, history repeating itself. And I remember um, hearing people arguing about that when I was younger. And of course, I wasn't sure what they were talking about. And I was I was taught not to question the authority of, of elders, or, you know, people older than you, I don't know, parents, family members, things like that. I never asked. But so I meditated on that and I was like, what is this? What is it that they were arguing about? And they were afraid that I would continue on a pattern that they didn't want to continue on in their family, that they were not proud of themselves. It's a mistake that they made themselves and they just didn't want me to continue on. And um, it's very strange. It's like something that they were not proud of yet didn't want to break the cycle themselves and so they leave it up to the next generation, me and my sister, to do that and it's utterly frustrating. But I just thought I would give you this information. If you are going through a particularly hard time and if it's particularly the, sort of the base chakra has been affected, your sense of security, stability, your sense of feeling safe, and cared for, it is kind of a reoccurring pattern at this time to release that and to feel safe in your own ability to rectify the old patterns and break free from it. And the way that you'll know that you've broken free from it is when you can actually do things or or feel safe in, in situations that you may not have before. I know for me, a lot of things like songs can trigger old memories watching films that I haven't for a very long time um, that, you know, are very much attached to the old situations where I didn't feel safe. I've been able to do that re recently. It's been very freeing and healing to do so and to no longer have an attachment to those things that would trigger those memories, that those memories are only that, memories. They're not things that hurt you or can in any way further damage you, it's a very healing and freeing feeling once you're finally able to release that. I know people sometimes say, oh, I can't listen to a certain song because that was our song, me and my person or whatever, and it hurts and, and it brings up too many bad memories. Once you're able to free yourself from that and you're able to just listen and, and not have that attachment to it, it is a sign that you have released. And when you release, you are able to then receive something new. Either it's going to be, say for instance, you're on the twin flame path and you want your situation with your person renewed. It's going to be them returning, but in a new energy, in an energy that actually can work this time. Or... If it wasn't to be, it's something better than what you could have imagined. Because not always, not sorry, not everyone who knows that they're a twin flame is on the right path to begin with. And I'm not saying that to be mean, because that was me in the beginning. I unfortunately attached myself to a false twin, thinking they were the one. And I started my journey on the path thinking, yep, this is it realizing they were a false person, having to let them go and just completely lose interest in the twin flame path altogether, completely letting go until a couple of years later, I did meet my person and finally was able to continue on my journey on the twin flame path with this one, this time for the right reasons and not for what I thought uh, was something good when actually it was a very horrific um, connection that Oh, was just not good, you know, had really bad, bad um, energy attached to it. And the person had very bad intentions. So I hope this energy update helps a sorry, I can't talk, <laughs> helps a clarify for you uh, if you've been feeling this kind of base chakra sort of shaky energy. It's made you question your journey, your self-worth, but it ultimately made you realize your self-worth through releasing the pain and the attachment to old fear-based energies. Um, yeah, hopefully this resonates 
for whomever was drawn to viewing this video. And if you were interested in getting any of my services, all my details are in the description box linked to my website. I am also offering some promotions, 25% um, off bundles of four, um, healings, readings and channeled messages. That's in the link on my community page. And uh, also I'm offering a very limited offer for bundle questions. Normally bundle questions are £27.50 for 10 questions or you can buy three for two which is uh, you buy two bundles £55 and you get the third free so that's 30 questions for the price of 20 Now until the end of September I'm offering a very limited buy three for two on a three for two bundle so you're essentially paying for 40 questions but you're getting 90 questions in total and that's an over 55% saving which is a huge sale and I'm not going to do that one again um, for a long time <laughs> so if you would like to take advantage of that all the details are as well uh, on the same community tab if for any reason you can't access it as I've heard some Apple users said that they can't access my community tab for some reason. Email me or text me if you've got my WhatsApp number and we can arrange that um, for you to get that offer. So thank you all so very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.